Good morning, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to draw a triangle, which are really very simple. For those of you who've been with us since Series 1, where we took you through the basics of InScape, you may remember that in Video 6, we showed you how to create an arrow, and the pointy head of the arrow was a triangle. And in that video, we used the Bezier tool the wonderful Bezier tool, but these two techniques are much quicker, much easier. So the first one involves this little tool here, Create Stars and Polygons, and if we click on there to instigate it or to activate it, that's a better word, isn't it? And we go up to the Tools control bar and we click on the star shape and make sure that the number of corners is three and then draw out the shape, holding the left finger on the mouse, then we get our triangle. We can move that, we can change different colours as we have done previously. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Now, if we press on the Create Stars and Polygons tool again, and actually the polygon shape is on with the three corners, and we do the same thing and draw out the shape, we're still producing a triangle. Let's get rid of that. I'll go back to the uh, tool again. Now then, if we have the polygon shape on, but let's say we um, have five corners and we draw out the shape again, then we have a polygon. So the, the most important thing is that you put in the number of corners you want, which is three. Okay, so that's the first way to create the triangle. And the second way involves using the extensions function on the menu bar up here. So click on the extensions function, go down to render, and then go down to triangle. You'll have an option box here which will ask you to put in various values. Well, we're going to just leave these as they are at the moment, and we want the mode to be in from three sides. But you can change the shape of the triangle by altering it based on these options here. But we will keep it three sides at the moment because it's a very simple triangle. You can use Live Preview if you want, but we will just uh, press Apply and then Close. And again, we can enlarge it and we can put colour in it if we want to. And you may notice that it has an outline or, as Inkscape terminology, a stroke. To remove that, you can come down here to the status bar, right click on the black stroke and remove it. Or alternatively, as we've shown you in previous videos, you can go up to the um, fill and stroke function here and take that out of this bit here. I mean, there's nothing in there because we've just taken it out. And in fact, that method uh, was highlighted by Leon, um, so we thought it was very worthwhile including it in this little tutorial. So thank you very much, Leon, for that. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments about the video, please come and visit us on our fan page on Facebook, the address of which is now being put on the screen. But that's all for this video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one, and until then, goodbye.